Well, brush fire dangers right here in the valley on the rise. It's been a windy week and we've already had Sky 12 over four different br uh, brush fires. Yeah, Team 12's Lisa Nico joins us from Phoenix with the top three things you can do to protect your property. It has been a very busy start to our fire season. This wind is not making things any better, neither will the rising temperatures, which is why fire officials say you need to create defensible space around your buildings and homes and also be mindful when you're outside. Fire? When I saw all the smoke on the service road and I was like, after fire. Crap, is that my house that's on fire? Sam Gallo watched as flames crept closer and closer to her home Wednesday. Um, you know, because I have, you know, animals and stuff. So, you know, I rushed home and luckily it was already being contained and everything. Rural Metro Fire says after winter and spring rains, you need to be fire aware. We've probably started our, our fire season a little earlier this year. Fire officer Sean Gilland has three rules for fire prevention down here in the desert. First, create a defensible space around your property, ideally 30 feet clear of dried brush and debris and any other potential fuels around your home. And that goes for the space above your house too. We don't get a lot of rain here that would wash out your gutters. So in the event of a fire near your house, ashes could land in that and actually cause structure, structure on fire. The second most important rule for fire prevention, watch what you're doing. Things like driving with metal or debris hanging from your car, smoking, Camping, even mowing your lawn, all could cause a spark that could lead to a blaze. The largest percentage of wildfires are going to be started by human activities. And number three, be alert. If you see a small fire starting, get, get attention to it quickly. All rules this wildfire watcher follows to keep her pets and property safe. Now we're you know, a high, you know, high risk state of you know, all the heat and stuff like that. So just picking up after yourself and making sure you're watching where you're throwing things. Lisa Nico, 12 News.